Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Parisno. Now, when we left off, we had just spoken to the princess again. We had encountered some demon death knights in a pretty, pretty large battle. And we have now come to sort of like the Draharan area. And I should say thank you very much for letting me know where those assassins are, because I think I've just seen them, but I was kind of in pursuit of these Dazook enforcers, and I would quite like to take some of them prisoner, you know, maybe sell a couple of them and things like that, because, you know, a cash injection is always useful. Now, in other news, the uh, Elan Tor have declared war against the Tolranians, so we have a new fight on our hands, we're going to be able to take apart some vassals, I hope, and otherwise, we're just going to deal with these guys. So we obviously have 130 they have 121. I haven't done any fighting since the previous episode, which is actually a bit of a shame. I was looking for some bandits and all kinds of things, but they just didn't want to come out of the woodwork for some reason. They just wanted to stay in their, you know, safe little homes and bandit hovels and all kinds of things. So yeah, they just wanted to chill out and not really bother with you know, trying to, trying to kill us or anything like that, which I suppose is quite good of them. You know, it's quite polite of them to do that, but Yes, I mean, I, see, this is the thing, okay? Now, because we have so many archers, I don't know whether they're even going to get to us, because if you think about it, these guys don't have shields, as far as I'm aware. Yes, the slavers and the enforcers do not have shields, so what I'm going to need to do is, well, what I would have needed to do is basically just tell my archers to charge in and use blunt weapons, but it seems like that's a bit too late, isn't it? Yeah, that seems a little bit too late. And now I have these guys who are actually using blunt weapons, hilariously enough. So I'm just going to tell my gladiators just to charge straight on in here. I'm going to tell my cavalry as well. Now we do need to be very careful about these units right here, because they all have pole arms by the looks of things. Ooh, that's a big mistake. Did you see that? She used an overhead attack. That was a big mistake right there. Maybe she can, Maybe they can only use overheads? No, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Very, very strange for them not to use thrusting. They seem to all be using overhead attacks. That's very weird. Hmm. Maybe the slaves should learn how to fight. Yes, even the... Wow. Oh, oh there you go. She's using a thrusting attack. Okay, so they can use thrusting. It's just a little bit weird because we are on a mount and, you know, technically the... You know, the best thing to do would be to thrust at us. And none of the slaves did that. That's very strange. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> we did take a couple of them prisoner, but it's not exactly what I wanted to do. But I'll take it, because it's a pretty flawless victory, if I do say so myself. We didn't lose anyone, which is pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to just take these. I haven't sold my prisoners yet either. And, wow, there's actually some pretty good armor here as well. Yeah, pretty good armor, if I do say so myself. Okay, so I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to take it, obviously, but I'm not going to be doing anything else with it, to be honest. I don't think that Shi Jin or Slighter could use it. I mean, I think they probably could, in you know, in terms of their strength requirements and things like that, but it is not... Nope, it is not better than what Slighter is using, which is... Hmm, pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. Okay, well, there you go. I don't think we're going to be able to give them anything else. I wouldn't mind giving this to Slighter, but he's on a mount, so it's kind of pointless, isn't it? Can I give him this? No, no, he doesn't have three in riding skill. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, I'm just going to level up a bunch of our other people here. We have nine gladiator champions now, which is, hmm, I think, pretty decent. We're getting a lot more freelancer veteran archers and things like that. We're staying with our theme of having a pretty large amount of archers. I think that's what we're going to try to do. We're still going to, you know, try and stay with our theme. But if at any point we hit like a brick wall of some sort, you know, a brick wall in the form of some vassal or liege or something like that, that requires a bit of a composition change, then we'll probably try and do that. But anyway, yeah, so as you can see, I'm here. And, ah, there we go. There were the assassins. Yes, exactly. I passed them over here as I was chasing these Dazook slavers, and thankfully, they seem to still be in the same area. Are they slow? No, they're not. I, they, they, yes, they are, actually. Never mind. I, <laughs> I was like, yes, they are slow, but I'm going to say exactly the opposite thing. Fantastic. Anyway, point is, 
we are going to catch them and hopefully it is going to result in a pretty good situation for us. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Holt, tell me what you and your order know about a missing portrait and what you were doing with it. What? We are never taught anything. A man named Zeos hired us for that. But why did I just tell you that? I guess it was because we always tell our victims our plans before we kill them. It's quite a nice tradition, too. Oh. Well, I somehow think that that is really not going to pay off this time around. We're going to take him apart. Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously do bear in mind that the assassins are actually pretty decently armored. So if you thought that, you know, they were going to just wear leather and cloth and things like that, you're wrong. They actually do have a pretty decent amount of armor to protect them from arrows and all kinds of things. Now, the one thing that I would say that might improve the survivability of these kinds of units, and I think if the mod developers actually see this video, I'm probably going to be hated by everyone that plays Parisno if they do implement something like this, but dodge. Yes, dodge. You know, things like dodge and what is the, is it power flesh or, or something like that, where you can absorb certain bits of damage. And I do know that, well, what, what is it now? Blood and Steel, I think it was. Yes, Blood and Steel. And I think some other mod also had dodge. And I personally feel like adding dodge, I don't know how easy it is, to be honest, to add dodge or any of those other abilities to units. But if you add dodge and, you know, whatever that absorption thing was, can't remember the name of it now, but if you add all of those things, I mean, obviously, oh, there was heroic health as well, wasn't there? Yes, heroic health is obviously something that, you know, it, it splits opinion quite a lot because heroic health is that regenerating thing, you know, where it depends on the amount of iron flesh you have and it restores your HP over time. So technically, that's quite nice because what it does is it kind of improves your, mm, shall we say survivability and your longevity in certain situations. So for example, in sieges, you know, because Parisno is a difficult mod. It's not to be taken lightly. And, you know, Blood and Steel is also one of those mods that is completely over the top. I'm not saying Parisno is over the top, but Blood and Steel is very over the top. And, well, it kind of helps to have something that keeps you alive a little bit longer because you can die very, very quickly in both mods. And yeah, I thought that maybe adding dodge to lighter units, for example, maybe adding dodge to the Elan Toran units, if they don't have particularly good armor, that might be the way to go. Or maybe just adding extra stats to certain armor pieces. So for example, if they, you know, if, if for example, the elves were going to have pretty, you know, pretty light armor. For example, I'm wearing some elven black boots. This is what I mean, two athletics pretty nice. I like it. And maybe ha adding a chest piece that gives us something extra and then, you know, obviously a helm or something like that. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just kind of talking about it at the moment. It's not really anything that's going to be implemented, I doubt. But, you know, it's, it's kind of a nice thing to kind of talk about and see what's going on there. Now, if you do hear anything in the background, it might be something very close by because we're we're pretty close to a road here but anyway yeah you might hear a very very big car or something anyway continue on to interrogate archduke zeos who hired the assassins i can assume that that means that he is actually a vassal of the elves am i correct in assuming that archduke Ze yes he is look at that he has a huge amount of renown as well and he's actually a marshal, as you can see. He's actually, he has the reputation type marshal. So you would expect him to be pretty, you know, pretty fair and everything, but no. And he also has a sister and that's it. He's not married to anyone and he's not the father of anyone or anything like that. And he is age 53. All right. So the last time you saw him, Archduke Zeus was in the field and he was between this and this. Okay. Okay, I don't know how we know that, but uh, right. 
Never mind. So, yes, we're going <laughs> to... I guess we're just going to go and head back and see what the elves have to say. But obviously, yeah, we are technically at war against Tolrenia. So, Tol Tolrenia? Yeah, Tolrenia. And we do need to be a little bit careful because I have seen some Tolrenian vassals sort of lurking about a little bit. And we need to be a little bit careful about where we step now because some of them actually have some order of faith units i saw one with a what is it now a templar of faith yeah i saw one with that so i was just like hmm yes probably not the best idea to go after them oh Lord, oh third patrol third legion patrol oh that might be quite nice to attack but then on the other hand i might like to oh i might like to sort of appease them at some point and maybe you know, go to their third legion outpost or something like that, because I believe I've heard that you can recruit units from that location, so that might be quite nice. Anyway, your party stumble upon a wounded step urchin. Take him and ask a ransomed... <laughs> ah, yes, no, we're not going to do that. I'll just help him along his journey. There you go, we gained some honor for that. No problem at all there. Alright, so this is actually a pretty nice way to get to Drahara. I really shouldn't have gone around the other way, but I suppose considering we had already spoken to a variety of different people, it, would, you know, it kind of made sense. Anyway, uh, let's see. So the princess is going to be fighting some deserters. It's really not going to make too much difference. No, she's not actually going to be fighting them, of course. She's not going to waste her time with those pitiful deserters. She actually was. <laughs> she actually was, but obviously it was a bit too late that she got there. Anyway... Let's see if I can find where this guy is now. Wow, my tracking skill is going absolutely crazy. Look at that. Oh. Ah, well. Yeah, never mind. I suppose it's I suppose it's fine. Oh, yeah, by the way, considering she owns this, I would assume that there aren't... Yeah, there aren't any ladies or duchesses or anything like that there because she's not married, obviously. So, yeah, okay. Well, we, I suppose, will be able to find him just by speaking to someone. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go. All right, so who is it again? Oh, no. I'm going to... Uh, yes, there we go. Archduke Zeus. He's traveling to Athena's castle. All right. Isn't that close by? Oh, Athena's castle is all the way down here. Well, there's the Order of Faith. At least you can see them on the map all the time now. That's actually really cool. I like that feature about Parisno because if you're looking for a specific, unique party, sometimes they're always on the map. Ooh, those guys. I'd like to fight those guys, actually. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to fight these guys because I'd like to level up my units. And, you know, I just want to get these, all of these leveled up into a really, really nice sort of fighting force because I have a feeling that maybe we're going to be fighting something pretty strong soon and I feel like just having regular units is it's just not going to cut it so I'm going to try and see if we can just level those up oh apparently they're running away from me now oh that is that ah oh, really okay fine I'm just gonna just gonna cut away for this chase sequence here because no doubt it's gonna take a exuberant amount of time oh there's, there's 70 of them as well Great. Oh, yeah. That's always what happens to me in Parisno if I'm not fast enough. I really need some more pathfinding skill. Who is our pathfinder at the moment? Slighter, what are you doing? You need more pathfinding skill. Yeah, as you can see, a Hakon High Inquisition party has decided to crash the party, as it were. And uh, yes, that's... that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. I guess I can go back and try and find the 70 band of Ankar's units and see if we can you know see if we can fight them but as you can see they've taken us a huge huge detour here which in itself is kind of annoying because obviously I want to catch up to Archduke Zeos but you know I want to actually if I do have to fight him be ready for that so being ready obviously regard you know in that regard does require us to have a little bit of oh no are you serious come on now giants I you're actually going to win that, aren't you? You are annoying. Oh, you are. Oh, I can't believe it. I really can't. I am I am beside myself with absolute ferocity for these random parties that think they should encroach upon the territory of the elves and one of their extremely powerful vassals, i.e. me. <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, I'm completely joking about us being powerful at the moment, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, you know, they're encroaching. They are encroaching. Oh my, Vinica 
has been besieged by the princess. Now that is insane. That's an absolutely insane thing to do. I am very, very, well, I don't know what to say. Proud of her, I guess? I don't, I don't really know because we're not technically affiliated with her at the moment. But that is a pretty amazing thing to do. Ah, there's Archduke Zeus. I was actually going to try and catch you up elsewhere, sir. So at least we have finally caught up to him. And now he's running away from me in a rather splendid fashion. Ah, there we go. We, we caught up. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So here we go. I've caught you, Zeus. Come peacefully with me to the Queen. We know what you've done, villain. Okay, well, before we do that... I am going to have to fight him, aren't I? I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight him. So, am, do I have enough? Do I have enough units? Enough good units to be able to defeat him? That's the thing. I don't know if that is indeed the case. Okay, well, before we do anything, I'm going to level up Scout. And we're going to get him another point in power draw. I think it's about time that we actually get his power draw a little bit higher up. And yeah, there you go. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to do something in this particular fight, if it is indeed a fight. Uh, what? What have I done? Fool, what the heck are you talking about? Are you trying to frame a lord of the Elantoran nation? Don't play stupid. Come with me peacefully or die. I really do not know what you are talking about. I swear it on my life. Um, uh, I, I, are you serious? Then those assassins were lying. Gah, I knew I shouldn't have listened to them. Well, I have... No idea what you are talking about, but I guess I'll leave it alone. You're lucky I'm in a good mood today. Goodbye. He could just be... Literally, he could just be lying. He literally could just be lying right now, and we don't want to take him to task. We don't want to do some damage to him. We don't want to beat him up a little bit. Ah, well, apparently not. Apparently not. That is unfortunate. Okay, so apparently it now says, Your investigations have proved fruitless. Yeah, well, that's... That is actually quite distressing because I had hoped that we were going to return to the princess with something a little bit more positive. But it seems like, as the quest stated, our investigations were fruitless. Absolutely fruitless. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, at least they all cleared out so I can speak to the princess. There we go. Hello. All right, so uh, I haven't found anything during my investigations. That's okay, I have. I found out that the entire thing was a ploy. The assassins were acting on their own accord. This was told to me by an anonymous informant. And what happened? It turns out that this was all a delicate plan to assassinate the Queen. The portrait is fake. However, the Queen would like to talk to you. Okay, all that was for nothing? You think, what, uh, okay, what does the Queen possibly want with you? Yeah, there we go, that's what we're thinking. All right, so report to the Queen. Arlena? No, no, it's not Arlena, it's actually Arwen now. Yeah, I think they changed that, actually. Anyway, she is, yeah, she is obviously going to be over there fighting a... <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. I feel very sorry for Count Calarius right now. I am sure he is not very pleased. They have 1,750. Oh my, that is crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, well, let's just head in here just so we can get a little bit of renown. Look at the renown value. The renown value is actually pretty decent, considering it is a battle where we outnumber the opponent so drastically. I mean, look at this, 239 versus 126. Well, it's still actually a pretty large battle, considering. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is, I, I don't even know, really. I mean... <laughs> We have so many Elantoran units here. I suppose I'm just going to place my units in a decent position, I suppose. And I'm just going to tell my scout, which is me, to fire off a couple of arrows and see if we can get a, a little bit of damage done. I mean, obviously, ah, yeah, it's, it's, it's giving me the stuttering again. Apparently, that is due to PBOD, so I'm not entirely sure if I should disable that or not. But, I mean, maybe, maybe I should. But I think it has some pretty decent features and I didn't really want to disable those because they they kind of are pretty cool to to have so I don't know I don't know really I'm just gonna get out my melee weapon and we're gonna see if I can do a little bit of damage here but knowing me I'm gonna go in here versus a dr drastically sort of outnumbered opponent and I'm probably gonna get killed instantly that's usually what happens that is usually what happens so let's be a little bit difficult you know let's be a little bit difficult for the enemy to hit 
And I'm gonna just go in there and show them what who's boss and what for and all that. Uh, yeah, doesn't seem to be working too well, does it? Because our sword is utter trash. Yeah, it is utter trash, isn't it? I mean, just look at it. It's really not doing a lot of damage. But obviously, we haven't really fought too much of the vassals and you know things like that. We've we've literally fought like what? Have we have, have we actually even fought any vassals ever before? I think we have, but it's always been you know, in conjunction with someone else, and obviously that's going to make a huge difference to, well, basically everything. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, a veteran footman. I need this experience. Give me, give me that experience. Give me that. Uh, oh, oh, he's still alive. I actually thought he died for a second there. No, no, he's dead now. Oh, well, never mind. There you go. That is it. He has been defeated with a grand total of 25 losses. And, well, not even that. Basically only five losses because, you know, the rest were just wounded. But that's fantastic. Very nice. 17 renown for that. And we do improve our relation a little bit. And he did manage to escape, which is a bit unfortunate. I was actually very much hoping that we'd be able to take him prisoner because he's going to fetch a really, really nice price. But in the first place, you probably want to just think about it. You know, you don't want to take someone prisoner that is you know, not really going to give you that much, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to take this shield and wear it instead of the Amazon shield. It has 40, le oh, I don't know, actually. No, I think the Amazon shield is a little bit better because as you can see here, it has 40 less HP, but five more resistance and less speed rating as well. I think the speed rating is actually to do with block speed? I, I have no idea, actually. Could be due to block speed, or it could be due to shield bashing speed. I don't know either one, but whatever the case, the Amazon shield is a little bit better, so we're just going to go with that. And we've improved our relation. Oh, look at that. We improved our relation with absolutely everyone in this fight. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's see. Where is Queen Arwen? There she is. Hello, okay, so, uh, yes, uh, no, no, I'm not going to tell you to do all this. I'm here, your majesty. It's about time. I think I should reward you for your efforts. Lynn Thrandil told me that you thwarted a delicate plan to assassinate me by killing those assassins and through your investigations. Thank you, your majesty, but actually I did nothing. <laughs> no, I actually did quite a bit, I, I guess. I shall not forget your favor. Goodbye for now. Right, okay. Are we saying that, or is the Queen saying that? I would have assumed the Queen is saying that. Anyway, let's see. Do you have any other tasks for me? Oh, my. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll take it to that guy. I'm going to do that off screen, because delivering a letter isn't exactly riveting, is it? Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.